Yeah, more hands, more hands. Facebook Live. I'm going to pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity to be here today, Father God, in this river baptism, Father. It makes my heart full, Father God. People confessing you, Father God, rededicating their lives, Father God. Lord, making that commitment to follow you, Father, through water baptism, Father God. So we ask that you bless this time. In Jesus' name I pray. And God's people said, Amen. 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 Kind of pan to the crowd there real quick. You know, one day Jesus was walking and he come up on the Jordan River. And here's the deal. This is how I look at things. You know, there's a method to this pastor's madness sometimes is all water, even though this is not called the Jordan River, all water joined in one place. Amen. They all flow to the same area. So we're going to consider this the Jordan River. And Jesus went to John and said, hey, I need to be baptized. And John was like, no, you, you're Jesus, man. He said, look, behold, the Lamb of God, which take away the sins of the world. He says, I, I need to be baptized of you. And, and Jesus forbid him not. He said, this needs to be done to fulfill all righteousness. I believe this is a very important part of a believer's life is after the confession, they come in to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. If they can make that confession, then what should lead by water baptism. The water baptism don't get you into heaven. It's an outward expression of what's going on, what Jesus is doing here deep down inside. So we have Mrs. Magdalene here today who confesses Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Yes, 60 years. For 60 years now and wanted to get rebaptized today. And so it is my pleasure as your pastor to now I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let me get on this side for me, please. Let me grab the other side. Me and Billy are going to baptize you. We're just going to lean you back. coming to our church for quite some time even before I got there. But Tracy, you confess Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Yes, for 42 years. 42 years now. Woo! Amen. What a walk. What a walk. Well, it's my privilege upon your confession of faith that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. For 42 years now, I now baptize you as your pastor in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Alright, who's next? Jesse? Come on, Jess. Jesse, it's your confession that you believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ to be your, your Lord and your Savior. It's on that confession as your pastor. I'm honored to baptize you. Side. 
Yes, Vicki, is your confession that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? It is. <laughs> Amen. 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 On that confession, as your pastor, I'm just proud to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Flip flop, shoes, shoes, shoes. Go down the river. That's hard. That's the one. I had to make the worst. I guess I should have brought it. Yeah. Jean's been hanging out a long time. I remember her first time I met her. And uh, she was looking in her life, direction, and I see that she found it. Now, Jean, it's your confession that you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And on that confession, <laughs> I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Well, I know you're dying. Come out here. Come on, girl. Yep, they can all come out. He's like, no. Oh, you're going to help me baptize you. Oh, I get it. Oh, my gosh, you're so cold. You'll just take this side. Now, Ellie, it's your confession that you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and has accepted him as your Lord and Savior. It's my pleasure as your pastor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got this, look at you. Just grab a hold of your mom over here on the side. Okay. Like you can help me take her under and, and haul her back up. Wow. What a day. What a day. Yes. You confess Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Absolutely. On that confession, me and Ella now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. have been coming to us for a while. I've seen some life changes in this man, not only in his walk, but also in his countenance. And I'm proud of him. Yes, amen. Bert, it's your confession of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ being your Lord and Savior. On that confession, as your pastor, I proudly baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Your turn. <laughs> Grab him and you'll, you'll help him baptize him. You. You're okay. It's okay. You Nothing's going to happen to you. We got you, bud. Ah. Uh -huh. We got you. Hold on. Here, let me get your shoes. Let's do this. Here, give me your shoes. Here, give me your shoes. Here, Bert. Thank you. Here, let's do this. Let's do this. Can you stand up? Stand up. No. No? Okay. Oh you, we got you. Do you confess, do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? No. No? Yes. 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 Jesus loves me. No. Does Jesus love you? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Well, I'm going to go ahead and baptize you anyway. No. So now I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Oh, 
Mark and Jess has been coming to our church for a while, a while now. I've been able to watch them grow and their change as they grow in their relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, Mark, it's your confession is Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. As your pastor, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hey! Woo! <laughs> Hey Bart, you're probably looking around out here. It is cold. I'll partnership go and drown real quick. You let me drown. <laughs> I, won't let, I won't let you drown. Billy's been coming to us for a while also. He's made our, our church his home. We're proud of that. He, uh, he's an honorary deacon in training at our church. And it's been incredible to watch God grow this young man into the person of God that he wants him to be. So Billy, it's your confession that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Yes. On that confession as your pastor, I proudly now baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> that was Anybody here? Oh, here comes Jeff. Come if you have your pockets, Jeff. That's just the case. Come on. Here again. Walk forward. There you go. Jeff's been with us since when I first became pastor over at Gilead Baptist Church. Him and his wife were baptized his wife earlier. His daughter Paige is here to witness this. But Jeff, it's your confession that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Amen. As your pastor, I proudly baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Water actually feels pretty good now. Amen. Anything else? Anyone else? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for what you're doing here in this body of Christ, Father God. Gilead Baptist Church and the ones that come down here to get baptized, Father. Lord, I pray that this day forward, Father God, they will continue moving with you, Father God, that they will fall into place to your will, Father God, and your will for their lives, Father God. Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us that you know the plans you have for us, so you've got plans for these people to grow in you, Father God, and do great and mighty works in your name, Father God. So lead God and direct them, lead God and direct this church, lead God and direct this pastor and all the members at Gilead Baptist Church, Father God, because we know that your hand is upon this place. In Jesus' name I pray. God's people say, Amen. 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 Amen.